and welcome to Science for Schools. Now today we're going to be investigating heat transfer through conduction, that's usually through solids. So what we have is this apparatus, we've got four different metal plates, and at the end of each of those is a bit of candle wax with a pin in it. Uh, I have my heat source here, and I've got my goggles on, so I'll keep my eyes safe so I can see the results later. I'm going to change this to a blue flame. I'm just going to point this as much as possible directly in the center of this. Now don't look directly over it, even with the goggles on. Try and get it roughly in the center. So there's heat pointing directly in the center of these four metal plates. Uh, and hopefully that will then conduct down through each plate towards the end. Looks like what we're one is about to fall already. Keep an eye out for it. So the heat's hitting right in the center of these four plates, and it's traveling down through the plate to the end and melting that wax. In the meantime, here's one more. Oh, and that's gone. And there's a second. And naturally, it does matter if you put a little bit more wax on one than the other. I think that first one over here may have just gotten caught on a big glob of wax. And we'll see how these other two fare. There's one gone. So, it's important to know that these are four different metals. We've got copper, we've got brass, aluminium, and iron. And each of those is going to conduct heat at a different rate. And that's why we see these pins drop at a different time. And there's our last one. Okay, so now all our pins are gone. Turn off the heat. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.